Hi, welcome to the Staking Geek channel. Today I'm going to look at the map protocol and continuing on the theme of Bitcoin DeFi. I came across another project and they had some good news, which we'll get into in a minute. First, let's take a quick look at Coin Market Cap. So there's their token price. You can currently get them at a discount right now. They started back out in 2020. They peaked out around the first Bitcoin peak in April of 2021, around 20 cents. You can purchase this token on centralized exchanges, including KuCoin, MEXC, Gate.io. Today, we're going to get into how to obtain the token in a decentralized way. So we're not going to be buying them on the exchange. And we're also going to be discussing how to stake. So what is the MAP protocol? Well, they are Bitcoin Layer 2 as well as a peer-to-peer -peer omni-chain network focus on cross-chain interoperability. Let's unpack that one sentence a little bit. So a layer two is a separate network from Bitcoin, similar to how Arbitrum and Optimism and others are in Ethereum's world. A peer-to-peer -peer network has no middleman or central authority. You're exchanging directly with another person. And omni-chain allows for cross-chain compatibility of blockchain-based assets and other infrastructure, allowing for interoperability across different EVM and non-Ethereum virtual machine chains, which is where the industry is heading, in my opinion. So crypto can ultimately go mainstream and have a better user experience. If you want to come and read more... Uh, I'll leave the link in the description. They also laid out the roadmap here for 2024. So if you want to do a little bit more research. So if we come over here to the recent news, we click on here. Map Protocol recently got into NVIDIA's developer program to further develop the interoperability of the Bitcoin ecosystem. That's pretty big. They are also collaborating with Near Protocol. I did a video on Nier almost a year ago. Nier's token price has gone crazy lately. If you want to follow Map Protocol on X, you can come over here. There they are at Map Protocol. All right, so let's get into how up to obtain the Map or Mapo token. So first, you're going to have to add the Map network to your MetaMask. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know how to add a network into MetaMask. Fairly straightforward. Next. You're going to need, and for this example, I'm going to use Arbitrum. You're going to need to get some assets over to BNB Chain. You already have assets on BNB Chain? Great. If you don't, I like using either Arbitrum or Optimism. The gas fees now after Ethereum's upgrade are negligible. So if you don't have assets on BNB, let's say ETH on BNB, you have ETH on Arbitrum, you need to bridge them over. I'm not endorsing this particular bridge or DAP. Uh, there are many others out there. So if you want to do your own research, go ahead. So bridge over Arbitrum ETH to BNB ETH. And once that's complete, literally takes a minute. You come over here to PancakeSwap and you'll have that ETH on BNB chain. You're going to need to swap for BNB. You're going to pay a dollar or two depending on the size or the amount. And once that swap is completed, you come over here to butterswap.io and you're going to have that asset on BNB chain. So you're going to click there, click BNB chain, click BNB. There it is from, and you're going to go to map protocol and you're going to be purchasing the Mapo or swapping for the Mapo token. You can add this to your wallet directly here, which is nice. And once this happens, usually takes about five minutes. You're going to have the MAPO token on the MAP protocol network. And if you want, you can just hold the token. You can stake it. So you can come over here. I'll leave the links in the description. You click stake MAPO. It'll take you over to this. You're going to connect your wallet. You'll pay a small amount of MAPO gas fee to create a username. So create any username you want. They're currently paying around 10%. You can lock those tokens up for a period, I believe it's 15 days. So if you want to unlock your tokens after staking, it's going to take 15 days. At least that's what I found in the validator section on their website. I couldn't find what the unbonded or unstaking period is. So I'm just going with 15 days. It could be different. I'm not 100% sure on this. And you'll be earning 10% yield. If you want to become a validator, I'll leave this link in the description as well. You'll need, obviously, some infrastructure. 
and you'll need 1 million MAPO tokens and obviously some technical knowledge on Go and C compiler. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. Obtaining the MAPO token, a little bit about the project and how to stake the MAPO token. If you could leave me a like and subscribe, I truly appreciate it. If you have any, any experiences with this project you would like to share or have any other comments, please leave those. I believe Bitcoin DeFi is the next big thing, so keep an eye out for any new projects coming online. Until next time, enjoy the bull run. See you later.